welcome, welcome back. back to the Charles Ogan Experience. <laughs> the Charles Ogan Experience. How's it going? So good. Finished. Fin- haven't we? Finished. Yeah, yeah. Finished. We finished. Finished some. Ca- that's it. <laughs> we finished. We're done. <laughs> Completed it. Finished the cardio. Conditioning. Yeah. Did that today. You did uh, six times five minutes. Yeah. With always 30, a pleasure. With Ninety seconds rest in between incomplete rest periods. It's simple. Just Sick. Work hard. So incomplete good. Complete the rest. Play Repeat hard. That. At a sustainable effort, and you'll get fitter. Yeah. You've been sick. I've been so ill. Shane Curtis, potentially. <laughs> nah, not him, not him. Because he got it as well. It was someone right. else. Someone else gave me... Shane, he listened to this, Shane. Gave me brain, you know, AIDS, so... <laughs> you were sick, headaches for I days. had a headache. Just one headache. For five days. For five days. <laughs> Awful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was new. No. Anyway, so I won't be doing that again. No, Fuck no. headaches. Turn it up. That shit's... That was terrible. How you feeling now, though? Yeah, fine now. Better? Better, yeah. Lost four kilos, three kilos, you know. Mm. It'll come back. Maybe. It'll come back. Maybe. Back to training? Yeah, yeah. What's the structure now that you've recovered from illness and you're back to training? Here's a question for people that no one Yeah, I might have to sort that out again. You come back to training, what happens? Did did you go straight back in? Do you ease your way back in? I eased my way back in with an open mat on Sunday, then two classes on Monday, and now three classes today. Today. Or three workouts today. Then we're back. Yeah. Nice easing in. And yeah. Yeah. You don't go too hard at the sparrings to start with. You just build your way. Because of the the stiffness. Probably, yeah, stiff in ways that I couldn't even. We saw. (laughs) <laughs> what today the other days uh stiffness <laughs> yeah the stiffness yeah i was sore today from the weights yesterday even though it was a pretty easy session or it was, it was supposed to be a relatively easy session uh was, yeah. it was still pretty tough yeah. yeah okay fine okay so yeah i was pretty sore today what i noticed mostly was that normally i don't take a break for like a week but after a week break you feel very very different to if you're training all the time yeah like yeah that was for one day that was sensational and then and then for the rest of the days I mean i.e. today now I just feel like once again pretty fucked <laughs> <laughs> basically one day back in. to feeling yeah. tired when are you going to add in your recovery day yeah that's got to start I think I'm going to start doing a Sunday and we've got to just do the weights on the Monday yeah got to just do the weights on the Monday we can do that I, yeah. think, I think that's probably a plan going forward yeah, yeah you yeah, need that recovery day bro it's got to be done unfortunately and fortunately uh, you need it yeah, I yeah, unfortunately. So. But yeah, I, also, it just means the other days will be more intense. Yeah, true. Or I'm just going to have to miss out on wrestling on Mondays. Yeah. Which is a definite downgrade, but it's all right. It's all right. You can make, just, it up, make it up in other areas. Yeah, I'll make it up, just wrestle more in class. Yeah. That's it. Well, there we go. <laughs> yeah, Adding there recovery, it is. The what, a, what a terrible time. It's going to be key, though. Need to yeah. add in that recovery day. Yeah, otherwise I get ill. And not sparring in seminars as well, because people just come in ill. So fuck that. Mm. <laughs> Happens. Yeah. I mean, it's not really like their fault if they come in ill. It's it's still my fault for not being able to conscientious. Yeah, defend against the illness. But given that I've I have to go there early and I have to spar with a lot of people in a row, but I'm tiring. probably gonna be run down, then I'll get ill. I think that Sunday that Sunday rest again, I've said this like three times in a row now. But that's it's coming back. That is key. It needs to happen. Bring back Christian Sundays. I think, <laughs> Dave Rest. David Lord. I think... Um, Say that again. I think... Yeah, this is still working well. Um, <laughs> yeah, a lot of people I've been speaking to, especially for like online applications, they yeah. tell me their schedules. I'm like, where are you going to add weights and cardio into your schedule? You can't even recover from the work that you're fucking doing now. What, it's in like manual labor? No, 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 like, I think I think people are just trying to do too much. A lot of hobby, especially hobbyists. They're telling yeah. me their schedule. Mm. They're like, they do a job, then they're training twice a day, or they're trying to train three times a day. I'm like, yeah. what are you doing? You're going to fucking burn. No wonder you're getting injured all the time. You can't fucking recover from the current training you're doing. How are you going to expect to put a weight, weights and cardio session on top wow. of that already schedule? Yeah, that's it. I haven't actually got injured that much, though. I haven't been like, <laughs> there haven't been many injuries that have taken me out so that's probably why i've been able to do this for so to, long to my point that you that's this is all you do you just yeah, you yeah, train exactly. jiu-jitsu professionally mm. whereas like these people get in touch with me like they're they're like yeah. apart from the jiu-jitsu other professionals like 
most people are hobbyists, right? Yeah, they just. It's just like, bro, like you are a hobbyist. It's, Kimp- it's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be fun. <laughs> it's supposed to be don't fun. Don't overdo it. <laughs> no one is fucking getting injured and hurt. You don't yeah. too much. Make yeah. sure that you can recover. If yeah. you're training a lot, you have to recover from that training to get the gains. Probably have to do something about my immune system. Reco- bro, the, yeah. the recovery day. All vitamin D in that. Are I you just, on that? No. Vitamin D, you yeah. don't take that. I, st- I, just, I was oh. taking it for the longest, then I just suddenly stopped, and it's been like probably like three weeks since my last vitamin D. It's just here's a tip about vitamin D, you D especially D three K two. You can just you can take like twenty to thirty drops in one go, and that will cover you for like an extended period of time. Really? Yep. You don't have to do it every day. You can like overdose. Like you, it's impossible to overdose on it. Okay. But you can do. You can do. This is what I do. I take. I've got a vitamin D three K two one. The K two helps it absorb a bit faster for the yeah, geeks. I had that. So take a very large dosage. I do like thirty drops all at once, and then maybe that will cover me for like four to five days, maybe a week. I don't know the science, but then I do it again when I feel like I need to. Oh, I know. Overdose it. So then if you when you forget, which <clears> you will, you can just overdose it again. Do you take fish oil? I should. I don't. Apparently, omega three is key. That's what Sylvia was saying. Omega-3 is very good. Yeah. You need omega-3. I don't do that. So like when I did this nutrition course, I don't do that either, but I need to. Like they're talking about supplements and which ones actually work. So obviously creatine works. Recently, beta alanine has been proven not to be effective. I saw that. Not effective. So we've got creatine, fish oils, which is huge. Yeah, don't do that. Uh, And that's it. That's it, and vitamin D3, K2. But you can't just Glu- eat glucosamine salmon, Glucosamine as well, Glu- Glu- glucosamine works. You can't just eat salmon, can you? It has to be like sardines you and, can eat and all the horrible fish that... Yeah, because they're high. You can eat yeah. salmon, yeah, but the the, the the horrible ones, sardines and yeah, mackerel, yeah. they're the yeah. highest. And Exactly, and I don't eat them enough because, uh, you know... They're horrible. Yeah, they're fucking horrible. But, I, yeah. I used to eat sardines every morning, like... Every morning, or, uh, I, I don't think there. you even need to do that. I suppose it was like no, half don't. a tin for a week or something like that. For yeah, you, you could probably get away. It's like liver. Like if you have like one serving of liver a week, that's enough. Mm. That, that's enough. Same for sardines. One like can a week for a bigger lad. For a fucking big lad like you, big unit, a big lad like you, big fucking unit. Probably two two cans. A two week. cans. Yeah. Nah, I'd rather just take the pills. Get the pills. But then pingers. Cooper's saying that some pills are less effective than others. Cooper loves that. Yeah. JC loves that. Life extension or... Uh, Trained by one? JP. Yeah, Trained by JP or the one with the sun. Soul Nordic gun. Naturals. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe. <sighs> just get them in. Yeah, or just co- get them in. Worst case, just take cod liver oil. That's that's like the, the holy... Sylvia would love that cod liver oil. Oh, he fucking loves it. Probably squeeze it himself. <laughs> <laughs> he would love the cod liver oil. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. But yeah, this that, that shit does help. It does make a difference. What does it do? It helps, um, like muscles, joints. Yeah. It does something well. It does something for muscles. He said it's inflammation as well. Yeah, he said the fish oil is very good for inflammation. That's why it helps the the muscles as well. Yeah. Reduces inflammation. Can help help recovery. Uh, Fuck, I need to do that. Brain. It's very good for brain health. Staying sharp. Especially you just if, order it and do it. It needs to come in a sweet though. I don't want to fucking eat a pill every day. You know? Or like drops are okay, but not if it's fish drops. Well, just get cod liver oil. Same, same. But that's disgusting. Well, you, there you go. Well, I've got to eat the sea turtle <laughs> every day. <laughs> Either you got cod liver oil or fish oils. You're, you're a difficult man to please. All right. Big fucking unit like you. I'll just get ill. Yeah, yeah. Let's get, get, get sick of. Yeah, just get ill. Fuck it. Let's get speaking. Let's let's uh let's get some squash. Being ill. All right. Let's see. All right. You hit the goth lock. So the goth lock, for those that don't know, is a foggy choke. Is a reverse boggy choke. This, this Americana. Curtis? This is Shane Curtis. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna listen to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope After so. Shit talking on him before. Yeah, take shitting that, all over. All right. Yeah. Uh, yes, is my answer. I've hit. I've hit it. What is just, the goth Just lock? yesterday. Actually, it was Sunday. Sorry. It's it's a buggy choke on the wrong side so it's like you're in bottom side control and you basically get them in a headlock with their arm and then you underhook your leg you know the buggy choke way yeah oh fuck it's so sore and and you hold your toe so i so that's like the actual choke if you get your arm all the way through if you just hold it there you can yeah. still hit the americana where you tuck their arm behind your leg kind of if you're in if you're in top side control and you have their head and you stuff their arm under your leg right you know that one the judo one yeah yeah, do you? Not really. <laughs> Can we get, let's talk it through. <laughs> you know the judo scarf hold where you're just holding their head like a headlock. 
Kazakhstami. Yeah, Kazakhstami. Yeah, yeah, yeah nice, that. real nice. Love and, that. And you put their, <laughs> you put their arm under your leg. Ah, uh, yeah. It's Rod- the same from the bottom. Hodge has done that to me. Yeah, it's exactly the same from, but just do it from bottom side control. Ah. So he's showing me some details on it, and uh, yeah, and but I didn't need it because the guy basically gave me the foggy choke, so I put my whole arm through. And I got the choke, but then I also got his arm in the. Uh, That's pretty gnarly. So you twi- you're, you're getting that like hold on your toes there, and you just twisted that knee. Yeah, that keeps it safe though. Oh, okay. That keeps your knee safe. I feel like if you do, if you do it any other way, your knee's not you. You're not gonna be safe. Right. <laughs> According to Craig Jones, but yeah. Anyway, so I did that. Plus, put the guy's arm in. I've got a photo. I'll send it. We can. We can, we can put it up now. We put it up now. Yeah, fuck it. Get it up now and just push it close to the camera so everyone sees. <laughs> <laughs> Some poor yeah. cunt at the I open mat. I need to get that out. <laughs> at like and subscribe, mother. Guys, like and subscribe. <laughs> we'll like this that. podcast. Guys, just remember, I had a question this week. We'll come back to that photo in a second. Uh, someone was like, you should explain where should people follow, etc. Guys, if you're listening to this podcast right now, it's pretty simple. Go on Spotify. Charles Ogan experience is on the top left hand do this as I'm telling you top left hand side it's going to say follow follow and then rate the little stars there go to five stars if you want to rate it urgently and it says <laughs> <laughs> fuck hey, sir, what do I do and it says you haven't listened to enough episodes just go to the episodes and just finish them off just just quickly just take this take the scroller go right to the end finish it do, an- do it with two episodes and then you can rate it you have to do that yeah yeah sometimes that's so ridiculous yeah get those ratings in guys anyway back to so yeah foggy choke that was it we'll get that photo up yeah we'll get the photo I up I need to do this I'm gonna send that to the missus what we 11 minutes in there we go there we go she'll put it up she won't know. she'll get it we'll make it happen it can it can be done nice. right now Boof. there it is foggy choke yeah we need I'll send a- the exact photo as well so maybe it's pretty grainy but I think that'll add to the effect yeah of the we, sub we need a young Jamie fuck let's get Stefan in no, Ste- Let's get yeah. Stefan on the pod if he's so He's coming on next week. Man. Is he? Yeah, yeah. Vietnam War vet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stefan. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm a bit. Okay. What we got? This one's for people that want to come to the club, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Hammersmith Bridge, will it ever open? <laughs> well, I'm not TFL, but. You've been fucked over here. From what I've heard, it was supposed to be opening in January this year, and then they pushed it back to February this year. Oh and then God. they pushed it back to 2027. <laughs> so natural progression. Yeah, it sounds like it's never opening. So just just get used to walking across the bridge, or swimming across the Thames. Uh, that is a really inconvenient travel link. Yeah, we need you, to move. Do you ever think about moving? Yeah, yeah, we Both. think about it. Well, yeah, this what's is the square footage? It's you just need? a stepping stone. Uh, we're currently on 81. Uh, what as a building? Yeah, well, I don't know really. We talk about more of this offline if you want. Yeah, I, I don't know what I like. We've already, I've already been looking around at places, but it's just like we were offered a ready-made gym downstairs. Probably too small though. Again, but there's another place opening up downstairs that you could potentially take. Well, if it's big enough, then yeah, yeah, yeah. If it's big enough, then of course. But give it's just give, give us a square footage. Like I'll give you a square meterage. I want like 120 to 150 square meters for a mat. Yeah. Okay. And bear, bear, bear in mind, it's got to be two, co- like it's got to support two people. Sylvie has a child. I don't have a child, but I want to get paid as well. So it's got to support two coaches. So it's got to be enough space for enough students for two coaches. Yeah. So you need a, like a bigger space. So the, yeah, the space basically. downstairs, that won't do. But there's, there's been another space, which we'll, we'll talk about more details shortly. Fantastic. That could, could be a possibility. Wow. Wait for that, guys. Could be good. Anyway, great. We'll uh, we'll chat more after this. All right. Yeah, <laughs> we'll speak more. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What we got? How old started BJJ? Fourteen. You? Uh, how old were you when you? Yeah. 14. Yeah. Yeah. We we'll just rattle that one off. Get. No, but you did judo before, etc. Yeah, I did judo before. I did judo from four to eleven. Was that helpful? Yeah. For jiu-jitsu. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. 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 You get would the you, basics. You, you, you understand turtle. You get. I think judo is good because you get really good turtle. You get nice, you know, and you get good balance. Good balance. Obviously, yeah, you get very good balance. And then other than that, it's probably mostly bad habits, and uh, it's not very transferable to nogi. Mm. But yeah, also, I, I shout don't, out Christian Osbeck. Yeah, I was gonna say he's fucking speaking good, of the devil. He? He's so sick. Anyway. Anyway. Bad. Yeah. Well, there he is. That, that's the answer. Fourteen. Get standing partners to their hip. That was a good one. So someone asked basically how to get side to side 
people were passing to the outside, side to side, like down to their hip, uh, keeping their front foot forward the whole time. Sticky with the legs. Yeah, sticky with the legs. Get into the legs. And then once you've got one of the legs, try and off balance them so you can either get a heel hook or the second leg and then sit them to a hip from there. That's my answer. If they're standing, basically you've got to go for leg locks or leg locks to try and get them down to a hip or just like sweeps to try and get them down to a hip. But other than leg locks, you're basically looking at just sticking, stickiness. Yeah, stickiness, uh, inverting under them once you're sticky. Like basically, you have to make a connection to them, obviously. If you're not if you're not grabbing them, you're not doing anything. Yeah. You can also just like wait for them to pass around to north-south and then try and like count or whatever they do from there because like they still have to engage at some point to try and pass, like close the distance from a standing position to a to a like you know where they're chest to chest they so have, if, they have to engage yeah 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 like if you just lie there well they're gonna get less they're not he didn't say that they were stalling to be fair so like once they run around the outside and they get their angle then they have to engage from north south and then you can try and counter them from there which mm. is uh yeah another strategy you can do wrestling up yeah Fucking you can try blood, to wrestle up yeah double them yeah true if they're like postures high and they're not putting their hands on you when they're circling around you can wrestle up but if they're putting their hands on you and like pushing you over and circling around, then wrestling up's probably gonna probably gonna get you fucked more often than not. Head, like yeah, head control on good guys anyway. Yeah, people they'll, just they'll get front they'll, headlock, they'll just sprawl. Sort of yeah, shit. just front headlock and then take the back off of it. Classico, sand sticky legs inversions. <clears throat> yeah, just legs. staying flat on your back. Yeah, sticky legs and try and invert. I'm assuming that he couldn't do that, or else he probably probably wouldn't have messaged in. So other than that, you can just let them pass to the north south and try and counter with arm bars and that sort of stuff from north south, or you can try to wrestle up. <clears throat> who's good at this kind of shit? Obviously, or, watching you. Yeah, or who's good at it? Yeah, the wrestling up, or uh, let's say like getting people to their hips, like to watch. Pato. Yeah, people like that's just like a goal of guard. Basically, who's got a good guard? Yeah, who's got yeah. a good guard? Who's got a good guard? Well, loads of people. Yeah, you can study loads yeah. of people, I guess, like Craig, Craig, Gordon. Gordon's got a very sticky guard. Very sticky. You can see that when people try to run away, most of the time... He catches them. Yeah, and most of the time he's got, he either catches... Like, they can't pull their leg away or like they try for so long that he manages to get on another leg. For example, yeah. Anyone to watch, really, Gordon. All their men. Craig. Uh, Pato. Well, I feel like on the lighter weights, you've got to slow it down to watch it properly too fast and often there's <coughs> mobility that cannot be replicated what do you think of the pants <coughs> don't watch Gear that matching no there we go yeah was that a question no sent in no, okay that was just was genuine tro- curiosity tro- trolling me. ah i see good good got me oh, fair. <laughs> you got me real nice <laughs> right what's kit, the next question kit dow drilling philosophy anti-drilling philosophy oh okay. yeah agree with that Basically, what's, back in the day, what's the philosophy? Back in the day, when Kit Dale first became famous, he was like the own the guy Shout that didn't Australia. drill, and he did like the what's it called gray zone drilling, which is like sparring with very specific goal. Like let's say you're half guard, you have to get a cross face, like really easy, easy thing for you to win, even though you're you're not very good at passing half guard. So sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. And then, so rather than just like, you're just drilling on a partner who's not moving the whole time. And I think that's a good idea. I don't really, but then on the other hand, you know, you need to like, at least understand the move to be able to do that. So for some of the leg lock sequences, for example, that I'm teaching, like it will take like half an hour for people to actually do the move through once each Mm. correctly. Like they can do it wrong fast, obviously, but to actually do everything correctly and like, remember it on their own it will take someone like half an hour so when you say drilling like once you get the steps perfectly and you can teach it like just replicate it basically then there's no point doing it on unresisting partners it's a good point yeah, yeah. i remember i remember you, like when we used to do privates like you you would go over a move and it would literally take me fucking half an hour to get through it like yeah, actually yeah. to do it yeah yeah fucking exactly. ages yeah so that's it it takes a while to actually get it first because you gotta like it's not just doing it shit you can't just do it shit it has to be like all the no. mechanics have to be nice when you're doing it and then you can say that you've drilled one rep yes and there's no value in, you don't think there's much value in continuing to do that 
rap with good quality yeah time. yeah there is there is but not not for a long period of time like let's say you, you spent half an hour to do them to learn how to do the rep then like how long realistically is the move going to take if you just crack it out like one move will be like 10 seconds or something yeah you just do that like 10 15 times until you feel like okay i haven't really got anything wrong for the last three or four attempts yeah now now i'm good to do it on a partner who's trying to resist ah oh, got it rather than just being like yeah i'm gonna to go to the gym and drill this again just keep drilling it over and over yeah, and why over. why just go practice and sparring why? yeah so, yeah as, as soon as you feel People like say that yeah. yeah as soon as you feel like you're comfortable with the move go and like spar with yeah it. just gotta try it just say all right all right wriggle around then go on go on try and escape and then so that's why it's also good to, i'm starting to teach moves in like like groups of twos and threes now as well so i'm saying like whilst you're drilling try this option and then they're going to do this then you do this then they're going to do this and finally you do this rather than just being like here's one move for one scenario i'll do like here's three moves for this one scenario and any three of them might be the correct one depending on what your partner does and that's apparently the best way to drill shout out shorthead jake shout out yeah does he yeah he yeah says shout that, out so. shorthead jake then he says Fair that enough. yeah shout nice. out science as well i think that's just standard science yeah neuroscience fam yeah. We'll we'll know soon though, won't we? When Naz comes and tells us, yeah, fuck, he's gonna <laughs> actually, tell us proper good. Yeah, that's actually um, <clears throat> that's a good point. You can talk to us about the science. Yeah, we're gonna get a neuroscientist on next. N- neuroscientist coming on in two. Weeks. I'll get better close to windows. Neuroscientist coming on in Dos weeks. World famous. Huh? World famous. World famous. World renowned. Yeah, yeah. Used to uh, used to play for the Knicks. In ba- b- basketball, the, the Raiders, the, the, the Knicks are um, baseball, I think. Baseball, yeah. He's a celebrity. Anyway, he'll be close good. enough. He'll be good. Yeah. yeah. So there we go. That's about drilling. Just pra- pra- like make it feel good, and then go hit it on live partners, resisting yeah. partners, and start with white belt. Well, not not white belts. Let's say just like someone who's pretty weak and controlled. Yeah. Because white belts, it'll be like, well, this guy's giving me giving me like seven different subs all at once, like. And he's not doing what what I want. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So just do it on a resisting partner who's Yeah. Normal. Normal. Yeah. We'll give you normal resistance. Normal human. Not like you push his leg out and he falls over. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Someone who gets like the basics but they're not very good or they're just they're, they're just learning. not very aggressive. They're more like a grappling dummy. There's people like that who just sort of flail about. Yeah. Let you crush them. Those happens. are perfect. Christian Osbeck characters, yeah. Heroes, yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah. Just like him, man. Nailed Never it. noticed that. Now that uncanny. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yep. Perfect practice, dummy. For me, at least. Yeah, yeah. Shin on shin versus bigger ops. I. Right, this is another jiu-jitsu question. Give it to me. So, <laughs> so the question, this, the, the question, question was, is, <clears throat> we could have done this on Sandra. We 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 borderline got into it on. Um, when we did the Wolverine guard. What, fighting? No, oh, shin on shin. Yeah, you, yeah. You, if you watch the Wolverine guard with Owen Flanagan, mm. you're talking about the knee position, shin on shin. Anyway, so yeah, yeah. continue. So he's, he's, the question was how to off-balance <clears throat> people from shin on shin when they're standing. And they're bigger than you. And they're bigger than you, yeah. So the what I would say is the wider someone's legs are, the easier it is to tip them or make them move their leg forward and backwards. Yeah. If someone's legs are close together, then it's very hard to actually tip someone over. Because like as you push one leg really hard, they can just step back. Yeah, they can just like drive more weight into that leg, and they can sort of balance dynamically because both their feet are together. But if their legs are already wide, they've already kind of given away half their base. So if someone's standing with their feet too close together, then I recommend wrestling up, or at least like fake wrestling up to get people to split their legs again, and then you can go back to your foot sweeps and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I also say like stomping on people's thigh when you're playing shin on shin is good that's a good way to like again just make their legs go really wide basically that should be your focus try and split their legs as much as possible then it's easy to tip them left and right if you're not doing doing a good job of that then you go watch some instructionals brother maybe uh some gordon gordon's got good shin on shin guard yeah he's probably one of the best who plays it and then yeah that's it really and he's he's probably not only one of the best that plays it but also there's a lot of match footage that you can watch that you can use to improve yourself in that regard so yeah, that's my answer. You? Well explained. Well, <laughs> what's my answer? Chin <laughs> yeah. on chin. Yeah. I've got a good chin on chin against you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I never lose them. Yeah, that's why I ask. I never lose them. What'd you do? You know what? On 
less less experienced opponents I'll right. actually have a good shin on shin I can enter single leg X nice and sub people nice on the more experienced opponents what happens uh, for you I feel like I just lose complete control of the position and then you're not it's <laughs> <laughs> so vague and precise at the same time <laughs> I lose control of the position what happens so I'm trying to, fuck, fuck I'm trying to do that where I'm, I'm grabbing the foot and, and I'm dorsiflexing yeah. my foot which, yeah. you, which you told me to do and then you will angle yourself in a way and just start crushing me at some point so either like turning around is that correct is that what you do kind of yeah what do you do what do you do what, explain what you do if I try and get shin on shin on you yeah so I angle myself away yeah you angle, you, you angle your knee in a position where I'm trying to get your knee in a, pointing in a certain position for shin mm. on shin to work but if your knee is pointing externally I can't do it yeah I just try to float past and kick kick that shin in. Yes. So try and use my second foot and then scrape your foot to the inside so I can get to headquarters. Ah. Uh, yeah. I should use the second foot to scrape. Yeah, yeah. You have to do that. Even if they tip you really hard. And you also have to kick their heel really close to their butt so they're not able to like extend their shin on shin leg. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you fucked me up with that. Yeah. On lesser, lesser skilled opponents, I can get this. I can enter single leg X. Yeah, very easily, right? It's also sh well, should, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. If you guys like, if you get shin on shin, you just like pull really hard and swing your head between their legs. That's usually where you just like pull people in. Yeah, yeah, and swing between their legs. Then it's very, then it's a lot of force. Basically, it's a lot of momentum. Like you're swinging and falling and pulling all at the same time. And then leg comes over. And right. you're kicking him in the ass. Yeah, so yeah. should be able to get something going there. If you're, if you're good, if you're good. All right. It's the details on the feet, though, the grippage on the hand, but also the grippage with the foot, the dorsiflexed foot. Yeah. And making sure that they don't turn like you, like you yeah. do. You don't, they don't turn. Because once, yeah. once you start angling out, it's fucking, it's hard to hold yeah. on to. If they angle out too much, though, then they, then they give up foot sweeps and wrestle ups and stuff. Yeah. Like if they backstep out of it too much, then you can go foot sweeps and wrestle ups. Nice. And then once they, once they plant their feet from the foot sweeps and the wrestle ups, then you can go ankle picks. And then if none of that works, then you can go back to shin on shin, I guess. Sequence of three. Yeah. Trial and yeah. error. Trial and error. <laughs> yeah, just trial and error, trial guys. Error. If that's just, guys, if you wanted to know about jiu-jitsu, it's just trial and error. It is just really, Just keep though. trying it and is. erroring. You're going to yeah. find stuff out. You're going to try it. It's not going to work on yeah. certain people. <laughs> yeah, but that's a fucking slow way of going about it. Yeah, it's shit. I mean, it depends. If you spar like eight hours a day, then trial and error might be really good, but... For someone who can't spar eight hours a day, you gotta you gotta learn something. And Most people, yeah, can't what, do trial and error. Yeah, watching matches, watching people who do it well, yeah. try for, do do what they do. Yeah, then at least it narrows your trials, so you're not just doing a billion trials and getting mostly errors. Also, don't be so fucking tired when you go to training. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think a big thing as well. Get some some health. Depends though. If you're health if, talking, if you're a, if you're just like jumping around and spazzing and and like you'd be better off going to training tired because then you might as you use some technique yeah but yeah if you're always tired then probably you're just too tired to be effective <laughs> yeah yeah i mean like let's say like being hydrated that's gonna make a fucking big key difference okay, yeah, yeah. like concentration etc easy, yeah. easy tips like su super simple tips to fucking reach is like before you go to training if you're feeling really tired have you had enough water for the day probably not drink more water get some electrolytes in that's an easy step to make yeah buy electrolytes online buy electrolytes online which ones it, like amazon go to the top rated one then there you go i like high five tab the zero ones they're all good shit. i like them they're good all right what is it zero four zero cal <clears throat> zero cal prefer it if i had sugar they do make sugar ones i might get the sugar ones, get the sugar ones. fuck that but um yeah ask yourself the question are you, have you fueled have you fueled well enough have you had enough water is that why you're feeling tired sleep are you sleeping well enough there's so many factors at play yeah mainly just not doing jiu-jitsu is the best rest best recovery no because if you're just going to be tired like if you're just tired from a like, heavy day just go to fucking training you oh yeah you know I mean? as in if from your job or whatever yeah, yeah like you're tired because you're exhausted because you train like multiple sessions a day but for like most people sometimes you're like oh, I'm feeling pretty tired maybe I'll skip just go yeah, that's not just that's go. not a real reason. That's just being yeah. That's just being like, oh, I feel tired for like one second, so I'm gonna change my plan for later. Like yeah. realistically, you'd be tired for like five, 
minutes and then you're not tired for the next five and then you're tired again for five yeah, minutes. So you should go. You should go to training. Yeah. Get it done. Never regret a jiu-jitsu session unless you get injured. That's yeah. how I see it. Every time I was debating, oh, I'm kind of tired. I just just take this take this one off. But then, then I remember, I don't really regret doing a session even if I was tired beforehand. Because yeah. you usually surprise you yourself as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go and have a better session than you fucking expected. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Many sessions are tired. But then that can be a be trap well, as well. Could be a trap, but be well fueled, be well hydrated and give yeah. you the best. That's what you gotta do. Yeah. Could be a trap though. Sometimes you are really fucked and you're like, oh yeah, I'm just just the You've got to be good at dist- distinguishing the difference yeah. between being absolutely fucked and yeah. being tired. It's a key skill. It is a key skill. Again, John Lennon. Trial and error. <laughs> Trial and error. <laughs> Next time. Just gotta try. E.g., like have you had if you've had like multiple nights of like shitty sleep, right? You should probably just try and get a better night's sleep. However, to be counterproductive, perhaps doing some exercise is gonna help. Although maybe True date. at night time, maybe that's fucking you. Yeah. So there's multiple factors. Yeah. It's uh if you're training in the evening, maybe take it easy. Get a day day of nice sleep and get, then come back. Exactly, replenish. come back fresher and stronger. There's no, there's no shame in resting. No. Well, there is a bit. There's, I, yeah, I feel the shame. Yeah, you feel the shame. That's good though. There's a healthy amount of shame in resting. It's not like the end of the world. No. Come back better. Be stronger. Exactly. What we got? Thicker. Oh, and seminar Norway. I would do a seminar in Norway. Sorry, I saw that. Just the advertising. I will do a seminar in Norway if you DM me. There right. you go. Oil billionaires. That was yeah. <laughs> Here we go, Saudi. No, no, there's oil billionaires in Norway too. Oh, in Norway. Very rich. Yeah, very really? rich oil country. Yeah. That's, I'm happy for them. Yeah. Where did they find the oil? In the ground. North Sea, yeah. Yeah. In the sea, yeah. All right. Bro, good, it's good for them. <laughs> <laughs> They've got big oil reserves. Bricks. Well, maybe they'll give me some oil. Yeah. Just one barrel, please. Yeah. 100 bucks. Is that all? Oh, more I don't than know one what the price then. for a barrel of oil is right now. Probably 100 bucks. That's quite cheap, actually. But when you produce millions of barrels of oil yeah there you go that's a that's a wealthy country yeah fair play I'd like 10 barrels for a during seminar. COVID it went down to $30 I think damn $30 a barrel should have invested there we could have tripled we could, our we could have money. bought thousands of barrels of oil where do we keep them in this room just invest <laughs> just invest in someone else's barrels yeah just buy his barrels for someone else get some podcast guests four X traders in here or oil bar we should do oil that traders. one of those random people that messages us asking if we want to grow our Instagram following hey mate would you actually like to come on the podcast <laughs> <laughs> the space just, just for you just for you go on tell us what you do <laughs> tell fuck, us a bit about yourself fucking tell us then. come on <laughs> we come fully bellied up in his in his fraud gear yeah no I can't all do the, that all the forex trading true that get those guys I knew a guy that used to train jiu jitsu that went into forex trading and Jesus hard G- and Jesus and Jesus yeah how did he go with both of those uh, his grandma saw a vision of hell and then he converted hard to Christianity Ooh. and then some of his Christianity buddies were hard in forex and then you know then come the pyramid scheme messages and yeah. all that kind of stuff and like the humble what's it called suit and trousers look Oh, you no. know the yeah, starter yeah. trader he's he went, like he went, he went balls deep yeah yeah roll his wearing a suit to things that don't need a suit just, <laughs> just, just to seem like more of a trader <laughs> ah what a shame he showed up to jiu-jitsu training in a suit yeah no no he quit jiu-jitsu oh forex yeah, trading for, all the way for, for jesus at first and then forex trading you can do both and do jiu-jitsu by the way jesus and jiu-jitsu are a famously good mix Famously, famously, bud. famously, even better than forex and jiu-jitsu. G- Jesus and fighting, yeah. in general, is the, the he was a fighter. It's, it's the most famous mix of all. He was a fighter. Came back not once, actually, just once, twice. Rose again. Yeah, yeah he rose again. Any rose once before that. Though. Shout out Easter coming up this weekend. Yeah, yeah, true that. Big shout out to Easter if you're out there listening. Well done. They'll be listening. This will be out on um, Sunday. Shout out to Easter Bunny. So, yep. <laughs> is um, a- island a maximum or oh, is there a maximum <laughs> you can tra- <laughs> wasn't sure about this question to be honest but we we're pretty, pretty slim on good ones this time around so are we we can make some up I got some we, we can make some up yeah i mean i'll answer it <clears throat> what is there a maximum you can drill and learn so for what me it, the what, problem with the question what is was the number was the time frame <laughs> 
Like, is it for a second or a minute or an hour or a day? ASAP, bro. I need this ASAP. I guess it depends how long you have. But and at the end of that question, is, let's say you have infinite amount of time and you're just an, a normal human being. What is the most that you can learn? I think you could basically learn everything there is to learn. But you'd probably be only sh like sharp at a couple combinations of sequences. It's the Bruce Lee thing, isn't it? You could learn all the moves, but be like... Yeah. But be shit at most of them. Yeah, yeah but let's say you had enough <laughs> enough time that you were like good at your... Like a hundred different moves that you were really good at. Then you have to combine them all. And you have to be really good at combining them together. Yeah. And that's just mental sharpness. And I'm not sure if it's possible to be mentally sharp enough to connect a hundred moves to a hundred different ones. That's what... Um Shorthead Jake fucking talks about in that video. I can't remember the exact video. Let's press more involved. Yeah. Um, he shouts you out in the video, of course. Of course. Um, and he's what talking about fucking guy. Rather than learning like a ten different moves, twenty different moves, you learn like one concept and like decision, like and um, what you said, reactions around that move, and that's gonna be fun. I'm, I'm, I'm butchering yeah. this fucking quote, but yeah, yeah. Do you, do you, I think I saw it. I'm not sure. Yeah, just not you. Not trying to do. You don't need to know that many. You just need to combine like a few good ones. Learn the reactions well. around that as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like God, the, I need to be. I need to be more um, organized. This, this was. This is actually a good quote, and I, I can't remember. <laughs> what a shame. Well, he's God. already done it anyway. Yeah, he's done it. You we can, can watch just, the video. Yeah, yeah. Go watch. Uh, go watch that guy. Uh, yeah, basically, that's it. I think the limit would come in com combining the moves, not necessarily knowing them all and, and like knowing how to apply them, but. Yeah, actually combining them in a way that they complement each other, which is how they become like the best sort of moves. Yep. That I reckon is very hard to do, <laughs> basically. And yeah, obviously, you're, realistically, you're not going to be good at 100 different moves. You'd be good at like maybe four or five, like, like you know, you've got a good heel hook and a good back take and a good arm bar. And that's it. You've just got to work with that and try and become become the best just using those three all right Bruv, what is this we'll figure it out maybe it's well, the, anyway the quote yeah that was, I, I yeah they get it just combine moves better combine moves better john, john danner was saying that as well game versus bigger guys so what to do against bigger guys yes don't let them attack the legs yeah attack the legs true that attack the legs yeah, that's probably the easiest the easiest one you can go for is just attack the legs. Gets the back, attack the legs. Yeah. Sneak a little arm bars. Yeah. I guess when you're leg locking, people's weight is on the floor and your weight is also on the floor. For Nullification. The most part. Yeah, so, yeah, exactly, yeah. Whereas if you're doing other jiu-jitsu, most of the time they're, let's say you're, even if you're winning on bottom, like... If they're fucking huge. Yeah, yeah, their weight will be on you sometimes and you don't it's want gonna, it on you. It's going to be way more tiring. Yeah, and then if you're on top of them... They can still just bench press you off because your weight's on them. Yeah. And they can just, yeah, just like bridge really hard. And they're still kind of using their weight against you. But I guess in leg locks, they're just sat there and you're just sat there next to them. This is a good example before we're talking about um, Andrew Tackett versus Big Dan. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was actually, oh, yeah. That was a good. Uh, that was a great match if you haven't seen that. That was a great match, yeah. I, I think he didn't want to leg lock him because he just didn't want to let him Risk. grab him at all. Yeah. Uh, that was kind of a different strategy because it was no time limit. Big Dan Paul Guard lots of outside passing trying to run around. Yeah, basically just tried to annoy him and he, and I think he managed. He just pushed his head and pulled his head and that to be honest, like I only watched the highlight of that, but the highlight was pretty long. It was like six or seven minutes and it was mostly just like snapping and snapping the head and pushing the shoulders and then Big Dan seemed to get tired and give up. Yeah. Got to his back, submitted him. Yeah. Yeah. Great yeah. Win. That yeah. was unbelievable. David and Goliath. Literally. Sort of, That's a great match. You should yeah. watch that. I might go home and watch that. Fuck yeah. I'm going to watch it today as well. Fuck. Fuck. So good. Such wait. a good match. Yeah. I would hate to spar with Andrew. I mean, not spar with, just compete against Andrew Tackett. Why? And Big Dan, to be fair. They're like opposite ends of the spectrum, which Jiu Jitsu is known for. Um, <laughs> 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 big, big, <laughs> big Dan just seems like. Uh, High like, spectrum. Yeah. Like he will break your leg pretty easily just because he's so big. Like even by accident, he's big and and technical enough that he'll just completely. If you get to hold your leg, change your leg, yeah. Fucking like 
snap. Yeah, basically, yeah. And then Andrew Tackett just so scrappy that it would be very hard to get any of your own grips going for a long time. Tiresome. Yeah, tiresome and probably quite frustrating as well. William Tackett? Yeah, well, William Tackett's similar to Andrew Tackett, just a bit more big and controlled. I think William Tackett's very good, though. Yeah. I think he's excellent, yeah. Real good. Very hard to heel hook or anything. Mm. Like, yeah, yeah. Except for our boy Shashinsky. Shashinsk. Shout out. Shout out. What a man. Mark McQueen had his match against Big Dam. Oh, yeah. Big unit, two yeah. big units. Big Dam is fucking massive. I didn't realize how big he was to saw him against. Uh, uh, yeah. Saw him in a photo against. Um, shout yeah, Mark. out Mark McQueen. Yeah. That was, shout out Mark McQueen. That was crazy. That was crazy. Just how big he is. Yeah. I wonder how much he weighed. Did you see how much he weighed, Big Dan? No, open weight. Let's say 120, 130. He looks at least. Yeah, like he, he Mark was a good bigger head than usual taller. as well. He was a head taller than Mark. Yeah. Like a full head and also just width as well. He had more width. And all he is is just big. Fucking huge. Elev- just grew elevation. more. He just yeah. grew more than the rest of us. And now he's better than us. Yeah. Luke Griffin Fuck. also fought uh, Santeri. Luke Griffin's a big unit too. Yeah, Santeri was saying it's under 100. And Luke is probably going to come in like, or actually fight at 110, which he said he basically did. Yeah. He was just like, just managed to put on all this weight, clearly from the morning to the evening. And yeah, he said he was huge. So. Leg lock set. So yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Size matters in jiu-jitsu, if they're good. It does. Yeah. That sucks. Unless you're Andrew Tackett, clearly. Yeah. Then you can just game plan them. Miss, uh, Mikey Misameshi as well. True that. Yeah, I'd like to see him against Big Dan. Misameshi? <laughs> yeah, do, some, do it in Japan, like some freak show. That would be fun. fun Misameshi versus uh, Big Dan. Yeah, that would be great. I'd yeah. watch that. Me too. I'd pay to watch that. Five pounds. <laughs> I would definitely pay five pounds. I would pay to watch five that. pounds to I'd watch pay 10 that. quid for Grapple Fest. Yeah, I would pay. I would pay ten quid for the Grapple Fest, but it was just it was halfway done by the time, and I, I wasn't sure I'd be able to commit all of my time. The thing is, it's you're the you're the Grapple Fest champ. You should get the codes. Things are so easy to pirate these days that on, really on Grapple Fest. I don't know if Grapple Fest is actually easy to pirate. To be fair, that that'd be very hard to pirate because it's live and it's it's not popular enough to be on a streaming website. Yeah, but. Everything else is easy as Everything well. else is easy as fuck, yeah. So, yeah. you know, if you're paying for something, it's got, the price has got to reflect the fact that <laughs> it's basically <laughs> charity. You know, I, can get this, I can get this shit for free if I want, so just be happy That's with what you true. get. Even for the UFC too, although the the thing with the UFC is you, you, you it's hard to pirate it off. Um, like all the pirating sites, they're pretty like clunky. So it'd be mm. hard for TVs. That's so I get the UFC because you want to get you want it on your TV venues etc. A lot of people buying it. I never buy the UFC. Yeah, the, yeah, the streaming sites are MMA, shit. But if you, call. if you find a good one, or if you have got like a network of friends who are like, yeah, we found a stream every single time, then MMA core. That's where you go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right then. Yeah, there's probably loads of sites though. There's probably just loads of drop boxes and stuff. People up like live uploading their their yeah. shit. They're like. Anyway, anyway. <laughs> just teaching people just, how to just, pirate. Just so but, we don't but, go to jail, let's, yeah. uh, let's change the company. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, anytime, like, even with my BJ Fnatic stuff, if you pay for it, like, it's basically, obviously, thank you, but it's basically charity. Like, you should buy your instructionals, guys. Buy it, it yeah, yeah, you should it's buy it. Ones. You should buy it, but the fact that it's been illegally downloaded so much doesn't really keep me up at night because I'm aware that... You may do that yourself. Yeah, someone else might not pay for it themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Someone. Next question. Right. Have I learned to use a moped? <laughs> nah. What's the question? Why is, what's the... Because b- b- before we were asking about... I was saying to get a moped to, to help me travel around London. <laughs> but now I've just... Avid listeners, man. Yeah, really good. Well done. Shout out the avid listeners. William Crump. <laughs> Oh, Crumpy, he's one yeah. of my guys. Shout yeah. out William Crumpy. Yeah, 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 didn't know that, yeah. He got, yeah. Uh, he got corrected on the comment section before. Did you see that? Some guy was just talking. Can't Fans. remember. Yeah, yeah. Love it. Just some comment comment that you replied to his comment. Did I? I yeah, can't yeah, remember the most. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, it was a pretty severe comment to, towards William. 
Took it well though. Took it like a champ. Oh, on the thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I didn't read yeah. the reply. Uh, yeah, <laughs> the reply was too long. If you're if you're making massive comments on social media posts, <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Honestly, why? No one's reading them. <laughs> you're just trying to like. If they're too long, I won't read them. But if they're like mid length, that's a good length, that's, that's a good fine, meaty but like, comment. But huge ones. You're like, <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. What's happening? You just really make cool. a whole post. <laughs> just <laughs> make a post to that. Just yeah. make your just own make post. A post. <laughs> and tag me then. Yeah. <laughs> tag me, yeah. Anyway, you get a moped. Nudes. Yeah, no, not anymore. I just, I, I use the line bikes now. They're fucking cheap. And also... Line bikes are king. It's summer. Uh, also, if I got a moped, I'd have to go all the way around Richmond to yeah. get to my gym. But with the line bikes, I don't. So... I, I, I support that. The thing, like line bike, the, if you have a moped in London, you can still get parking fines. You've got a license plate. You can't go through red lights. Mm-hmm. You get, mm-hmm. you have to pay insurance. Line bikes, mm-hmm. it just doesn't matter. Preach. None of that matters. Yeah, you can just... Red light, doesn't matter. Red light, doesn't matter. Pavement, doesn't matter. Bridge, pedestrian matter. nothing matters pedestrian you probably more in danger than if you're on a moped to be fair what as in if you hit a pedestrian but on a moped yeah it's probably better to hit them on a moped because you've got more you know newtons no bro you'd fuck them up yeah you'd fuck them up yeah that's what I'm saying oh better to hit them on a line bike for though. you it's yeah better you'd on a be moped. fine yeah. yeah 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 but if you hit them on a line bike you'll still fall over and hurt yourself yeah that's kind of yeah it'll be minor for both I guess Less speed. Yeah. Yeah, they only do 20. I wish they did like... I just wish they no, did... They do, they do 16. What? I had a van move, which when I first bought it, you could hack it and it would go 25 cruising. 25 mm. miles an hour. That was great. That was really fun. You'd get, mm. you'd get around London very quickly. Like fast, like very quickly. But then they started doing all these updates. This is the problem with if you, ha- if you own an electric bike in London they'll put speed restrictors the, the companies have to put speed restrictors on so even if you originally bought it you tried to hack outside it whatever whatever you'll they'll, you'll eventually they'll fuck you I just, just want like a normal bike that someone juices up for me yeah you, you can know. get like a, like the delivery need ones. for speed you can, <laughs> <laughs> well, what's it called some pro some of the fucking bikes you <laughs> see yeah, go yeah, past you they're going like 40 miles an yeah, hour yeah yeah it's a mountain bike yeah. with juiced up batteries yeah that's what I want yeah proper road man yeah. style yeah, it's not even road, it's just two breeds, isn't it? It's just delivery <laughs> style. You just see someone like with the seat way too low, <laughs> hands up here. And they're going like it's too low, 40 <laughs> between traffic. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking heroic. Like, uh, imagine how quickly they're delivering food. Imagine how much money they're making. They're uh, probably on millions. Here's a fact that our, our listeners wouldn't have heard about. I don't think we've discussed that you were once, when I, when I first met you, you were a delivery driver. Wow. Mm, yeah maybe not quite what's that two years two two and a half years ago yeah i wouldn't say i I used to be do delivery or science at uni in london i was like barely doing it like i I did it for like maybe two weeks and then you could just log on whenever you want so if ever i wanted like a tenner i'd just go and do delivery but right how many how much how much money do you get per delivery uh it depends how long it is so it depends how how long you have to travel from the restaurant to the person but if you're miles away from the restaurant they don't pay you just to travel to the restaurant Right. It's all about like from the l- restaurant to the person. That's the main thing. Right. Yeah. So you, you want the fast bikes, bro? You want to yeah, yeah. Those no, bikes, yeah. It would have so. changed the game if I had a, if I had a fast because then it was just like, you know, the faster you cycle, the more bunny you earn. But like, yeah. you're getting fucked. Yeah. It's just <laughs> this isn't my much. Like I don't care enough about cycling to make this like my whole thing. Like I'm gonna yeah. be a really fast delivery driver and like deliver some fat cunt his food as quickly as possible. God damn. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Well, I used to deliver as well, but. You know, I'm not a fat cunt, so it's allowed. Yeah. But yeah. Whale. Yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> Have you film. seen that film, Whale? <laughs> <laughs> I actually scrolled past it the other Brad, day. It's a good on Netflix, I found it so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that film? <laughs> Why well, keep asking Christian if he's seen it? Because he's Christian's a fat, a fat, a fat Korean man. Yeah, yeah. FKM, FKM boy. <laughs> but yeah, there he is. Yeah. So what was I saying? Yeah, I used to do deliver delivery in Cardiff. It was good because you could basically log on. You get paid per hour rather than per delivery. You get paid per hour part and then partly per delivery. So uh, you could log on and go to a place where you're unlikely to get any call outs. Yep because you're just f- furthest away from all the restaurants and stuff. So you'd have to leave your house, log on, then go back to your house to chill. 
or else what's the point yeah and then yeah just just be getting paid for that so that was great if you get a juiced up bike it's gonna work a lot better for you yeah if you get a juiced up bike that'd be so cool. but I actually kind of want one just for the just for fun really just like, to get around quick. line bikes do the job I think if you're in London and like you're used to cycling a lot of people freak out about cycling by the way they don't like it yeah it's actually if, quite safe if you, though if you, if you, cycling's super safe if you're used to line yeah if you're in London <laughs> you're used to cycling <laughs> super safe get the fucking line bikes just get one, them. one thing I'll say though is that it's just a matter of time before someone opens their door right in front of you and you die that happened to me recently I didn't die no uh, I've had three four accidents on the bike yeah one was like I went on pavement and I just tapped my brakes and I fucking ate shit over the handlebars because it was raining that's number one number two a car turned I went straight into the car and the guy was like you've damaged my car I'm like shut up <laughs> fuck you and I just rode off yeah that was fine <laughs> I went, shut I went, up I fuck, went, you. fuck you shut up I went, yeah I went over his like bonnet the next time this is why I don't wear headphones when I cycle anymore as in he just turned left and, and he, he was turning left and I he didn't obviously didn't see me I just went fucking straight into his car over the bonnet and he's like bro you damaged my car and I literally just I like I said I just said shut, yeah. shut up <laughs> fuck you and then that was it another time while cycling with headphones in which you shouldn't do and I've never worn headphones after this I was actually coming back from Jiu Jitsu and I wasn't paying attention I was like looking to my right and someone opened the door and I went straight into the fucking door over the handlebars and like there was a bus right beside me fell like l probably like half a meter between the bus I would have been crushed like a fucking ant Bruh. I nearly died yeah I came away unscathed. What's that got to do with headphones? Huh? What's that got to do with the headphones? I was listening to a podcast like music or something. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's distracting. But now like I'm less distracted. When I'm cycling, I'm like looking at fucking car doors. I'm very light. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. If very I light. see a row of pot cars, I'm Stay not, the fuck I'm away not steering. Even if there's cars behind me, I'm sorry. You've got to wait, buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to steer around the doors. No but then as soon as I can go on the side, I go on the side. So I'm aware that cyclists are cunts on the road because we don't pay shit. But yeah. equally, I pay taxes and... No, yeah. you're going deep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, yeah. yeah. I pay taxes. I pay taxes. <laughs> yeah, so they say. Yeah. But uh, watch out for the doors. Um, for me, it's just cars turning left without indicating. Like, you you always know. You can sense them. You can just but you, sense But you watch their front tire. As soon as that fucking front tire starts to move, like, you're sensing it. You're going slow mm. next to them. You're like, this cunt's going to turn. I know mm. he is. The way he's behaving. You look at yeah. the tire, they start turning. You go, you fucking idiot. Yeah, yeah. Slow down, go behind them. Yeah, I don't really cycle next to cars anyway. If I'm next to a car, I'll just let them go in front of me a bit and just cycle just behind them. So if they do decide to spaz out, then Spit I'll be up. all right. But yeah, cycling. Get on it. Fuck the moped. Although a moped would be pretty good as well. Yeah, but then you run into the insurance. You don't pay insurance. True. You yeah. got license plate. True. Fuck yeah. all that. Line bike is five pounds for an hour. Like if you compare that to driving a car, it's probably. Uh, used used hours, not just an hour. It's used hours. Yeah, yeah, as it, yeah. You have to actually cycle it. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So <laughs> let's um, let's wrap it up. All right. There we are. It's wrapped. Guys, remember like, subscribe, podcast, YouTube, Spotify, all that. Continue. Uh, uh in, yeah, just YouTube, Instagram, buy our shit, buy. No, I said continue. I said continue uh, yeah. like doing all that shit. Okay, doing, yeah. You guys are doing a good job. We're up to two hundred uh, ratings on Spotify now. Nice. Shout out to all, all you fans and listeners. That's so actually good. comments that make me fucking laugh. Froggy on YouTube, he's like, <laughs> "I love this podcast. How it, this?" He goes, "This is one of my favorite podcasts, despite that it's filmed in a gym." Or in someone's living room, <laughs> or someone's dining table. <laughs> What's wrong with that, <laughs> bro? Shout out high production. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where else are we supposed to? Oh, yeah, probably a studio. podcast studio. Sometimes yeah. we do the studio. Yeah, we use the studio sometimes. Yeah. We have guests. Yeah, it yeah. makes more sense for the guests. Yeah, but this is a shout out. If you want to fucking start a podcast, you just do it. Don't worry about high production. Yeah, Although, yeah. Now we've got the elite microphones. You're bored with your life. You've got nothing better to do. Start a podcast. <laughs> and fail if you're a pathetic well. human, just start a podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Um, buy my instructionals as well. Yep. Uh, on bjjfanatics.com. Buy them. Buy them. Buy and them. also attend my club in Hammersmith. Submission Grappling. Submission Grappling. There club. it is, guys. Get on the strength programs. Check out the show notes. Great to have you back, Owen Flanagan. Thanks. Great to be back. Thanks. <laughs>